let me see how things gone. Let's see here. All right. Sorry for that noise. Just uh, needed. Just needed to make sure that uh, voice come through. <clears throat> All right, that should be good. Just gonna spend a little bit uh you know, just advertising my stream. On various places. I should really advertise it some more, but I think that's good for now. <sighs> All right. All right. So, first, I'm going to turn off my stream preview on oh, my <laughs> stream manager. Uh. Oh wait, what? What are you doing there? I've never... I never noticed it come by here. Hello. I... Hmm, I wonder... Does that decide where the, uh... Whatever that ejected out lands? The gravity of the moon? That would honestly make sense, uh, because it's always random, like, where it goes, it seems like. Let me see if I... Alright, so... Um... I think I still want to poke around here. But my main goal... And not main goal, but to open up... Uh... Ah, here it is. I wanted to talk about... A uh, theory I had. <laughs> nice seagull uh, emote muse. <laughs> Alright. No, I don't want to go to the sun. Wrong one. That's... that's the one. <laughs> oh, it's a dodo? Oh, that's nice. I don't... Where... Great, okay, no. Uh, I'm at the south pole. Wrong pole. Appreciate not immediately dying. Whatever. I have a spacesuit. Let's go. All right. So I got distracted, but my main goal to get myself back in the swing of things 
is to explain or er, my uh, explain a hypothesis I have about this weird cave. Ah, oh, this cave is so claustrophobic. Um. Okay, now I can actually see. But yes. Alright, I am in the lake bed cave on Ember Twin. The very... An incredibly special cave because there is a part of it that has uh, have oh yes, it has micro scale quantum uh, uh, quantum mechanics happening, or it has quantum mechanical effects happening on the quantum on the macro scale. And... Alright. Stop that. Right. And... Like, uh... Oh yeah, because I have the light here, that would mess with something. Now let's... Let's see here. Ah. Like, you see that cactus? What cactus? You know, things just kind of warp. And as we've learned in this game... Alright, thank you, cactus, for not just telefragging me. Uh, in this game, quantum mechanics, you know, they're affected by light, and specifically observation of sentient... Did I go in a circle? Oh, okay, I found it. Right. The light affects quantum... Ah, and also visibility, because the, uh... The traveling quantum rock just, uh, went away. Right, but there's something else here. Right, so... Like, this whole area, right? This whole cave, for some reason, has a weird macro scale quantum effect. There's some objects like the uh, the sh these shards that you know they're they just do it all the time, basically anywhere they are. But in this cave specifically, a lot of things are like that. And I want to mention that because there's these skeletons here. Three, three skeletons. Three skeletons that no matter what I do, there's three of them. Oh, hello there. <laughs> but yes, um, great, I was saying, oh yes, these three skeletons, no matter what. And we learned earlier how all the Nomai uh, died. Okay, one skeleton. Stop that. Anyway, right, they all died basically at the same time due to the uh, kind of radiation stand in the the ghost matter. Or I think it's just ghost matter radiation. Either way, a deadly radiation was able to expand all at once, or almost all at once, and fill out an entire solar system. Yeah, an instant flash flooding of just radiation. Right? But... The thing here... Is that this whole cave has, you know, like, there's these three skeletons that sometimes are where you'd think they would be. And also a rock. But... Okay. But... Ah! There's the other thing, too. Like, any, everything in this cave is, you know, affected by this. Including this light switch. Right? Because there's two, you know, if I sp do a spin, 
Yeah, it was right next to me, and now it's away. But... Let me... Right. Oh. Huh, weird. But... What the... Uh... Aha! This is what I was getting at. Because you'll... Sometimes... They'll be standing. Right? And it's the weirdest thing, because in this game, skeletons... Like, nothing... No, none of the Nomai have died in a way that their skeletons are just... Standing like this, unsupported by anything. It just doesn't happen. But it's also interesting to see their physiology. Uh, digigrade claws their horns kind of join up at the back right and also yeah hey <laughs> you said also but yeah other explaining uh, my you know just kind of to have everything uh, ready for my explanation of like Right, these dudes are just kind of standing, unsupported, and it's like the weirdest thing, because nothing else in the game does that. But we're in this weird cave, where everything has a macroscopic effect. And I have an I. <sighs> okay, you stay there. I have an idea, a hypothesis that, what if, while these three were in the cave. Ah, they had, like, there was, they were in some sort of weird quantum state or something that allowed them to survive the, uh, the flash flood of radiation that filled out the entire solar system, right? But, my hypothesis goes that if they were ever shifted into any other position, they would just instantly die. Right, so they're stuck in a weird. God damn it, you! They were. So they're in a weird state. So my yeah, my hypothesis, they're in a weird state of actually being superimposed, being alive and dead at once. Because if maybe whatever weird like fluke caused them to be able to uh, to survive the radiation that happened. Like, just, if it, you know, if that situation changed at all, they would just go away. And you kind of see here, because I'm, I swear sometimes the skeleton is fully formed. And then they just kind of collapse. And that's kind of my hypothesis, you know, of... Like... Anyway, but yeah, just kind of wanted to get this weird idea out there. Oh, the turning the light off is because uh, in this game, quantum mechanics, or, you know, things kind of being in weird quantum states, is affected by your lights. Stay there. Like that. And you may have noticed, I just warped to a completely different place. Because if we check my map, I'm just somewhere completely different than where I was. Or I think I was here, but above ground. Yep. Okay, I've read this one before. Uh, just to make sure. Yeah, this is where Coleus discovered that this rock, that you can travel on the rock. And, you know, brought some friends down here because uh, you kind of need to. Also... <laughs> I love doing that. Hello. Alright, 
Where am I? Did you get closer? <gasps> it did get closer. Okay, so yeah, these cacti, these cacti are also affected. Um, but yeah, and I also got warped again to a part of the uh, Ember Twin that I wasn't, I've never went to before. And not, well, I've been here before, but not uh, this time, so it wouldn't show up on my mini-map. Oh, that's also an interesting idea of, like, uh, just read out loud, like if maybe if the cave was full of sand, the ghost matter couldn't reach, but also the bones would be buried so they'd be fixed standing, which, I mean, I could buy, the, I might be able to buy that honestly, because those caves do, like, eventually completely fill with sand. And also, did my ship, a shout out to the sand. Not completely <laughs> just burying my ship. Yep, every location the shard can reach leaks the macroscopic quantum effects to other objects, which is why the cacti approaches approach you. Well, the cacti can't get hugs. Also, um, do I have anything to say to Jared? Oh, I still forgot to... Okay, I've... I haven't played this game in a while. Kind of forgot how... Oh boy. I forgot how to play this game, but... Uh, I'm not as confident with... Okay, I say I'm not as confident with... Uh, piloting, but I did just land here. So I'm doing pretty good. off. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just be go to the Ash Twin. Alright. Actually, give me a second to get some water. Alright. Now, where's the Ash Twin? Where are you? There you are. some sick maneuvers try not to die um okay that's timber hearth all right i'm in the right gravitational field brittle hollow i think i want to go to i think going to brittle hollow isn't a bad idea i think Well, this... am I... Um... Let's... I forgot to check my map. I don't know how far I am from the, uh... Equator... Alright. Um, I don't know how long I'm planning on staying here, but just in case, I'll just park myself over here. And get move on. Got stuck to the steel. Did I? What? The one where you... Oh, yeah. Snow jumping. Yeah, true, true. Oh no, this is the one with the... Yeah, okay, I've read that one before. Whoop. Alright, is there something here for me to... Okay, no, it's Giant Steep. I remember going to one of these and having to read something, but I uh, forgot to read it. And also... That's a black hole, if you're enjoying it. 
if anyone new is uh, joining the stream. And also, nice departure time, 1021.55907, arrival time, 1021.55906. I haven't, re oh, I haven't read this before, I think. Oh, Black Hole Forge left. Well, I mean... Yeah. I hate... Yeah, I hate that. Oh, and also... In case you're wondering... Surf... Oh, okay, that can tell you surface integrity. Okay. Weird. Yeah, you had to read it. Oh yeah, because I tried to jump, because that's how I leave these things. <laughs> Goodbye, whatever that was. And also, you may you may have noticed me shooting out my little scout a bunch, and it's kind of curving. Uh, that's because that is a black hole, and I will be sucked into it if I jump, because uh, this floor with a little glowy blit bits is keep me in place and I uh, appreciate that Ooh. Uh, well I hmm. well I get well I mean I should be far enough away that I won't get up in there. Yeah, I'm on the underside of the planet's crust right now. Uh, oof. Okay. And also, I was upside down from normal gravity. Exit to surface. Oh! that either. Oh, uh, Black Hole Forge, north. That's kind of busted. I think. Okay, yeah, I can't really get past that. But here... Alright. just break my legs as I... Okay, I think I fell from there? Yeah, I was up there. I was supposed to uh, walk down there in a way that made sense, I think. Uh, from here. But that didn't work out. You missed the rest of what's up on the highest floor. Gosh darn it. I don't have much time. And I know these walls signify uh, what's on these levels. Okay, I think this is where I was, maybe. It's kind of hard to tell when you're walking sideways. Uh, yeah, they're broken on both sides. Well then, that's us. For puzzling reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, you should. Um, you're trying to walk down a wall, but you end up slipping through the wall and breaking your legs on <laughs> the pavement. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, that does suck. Um, school district, melt, melt water district, eye shrine district. Oh, yeah. I should 
right there sometime. Black Hole Forge is history. And off in the distance, a supernova has just occurred. Um. Well, this did a pretty good job of getting me back in the swing of things, honestly. And it was fun going back and seeing the uh, quantum cave. But yeah, let's... Um, yeah, we've explored around the warp. I'm pretty sure we have. And I know exactly where it is. So we can get to it here, and we went to the mine that it leads to. And I didn't die that time, which is good. Let's see here. I believe it's like over here. The geyser. Really gorgeous geysers, to be honest. Makes sense why one of these is, uh, let's say, the inspiration. Well, it is the inspiration for the, uh, for the warp tower. I guess that one specifically. Here's the warp tower, here at the warp point. And I appreciate how fast and loose they are with letting you uh, just land on things. Like, they didn't need to be. But they are. At some point, I have to go back there. Yeah, I love. Yeah, I, now that I've noticed it on the the brittle. Uh, <laughs> how did I forget the name of it? Brittle Hollow. You know, I now I notice it more that like, oh hey. This thing has, uh, you know, the kind of fairy, like the stone ring around it. But, um, yeah, I guess I can. Well, I'm trying to think. If it's supposed to be a puzzle that you can't get to the, the thing in Brittle Hollow without getting to the tower, um,. You know what, I think... Hmm. I, mean, I think I'll still poke around that, uh... The... No. The Ashen Twin. Okay, it's going around the sun, so I should... Make sure to, uh... No, I probably could have landed on it on my own, but I just appreciate having the, uh... Autopilot. Just make sure that I'll get to where I want to be. Circles are nice. 
And that's probably more than I need to be. I'm like, uh... I think one degree off, not one degree. A bit off. Not, yeah, this should work. If I want to go back to the uh, towers. Oh, that ball that we left on the moon. Oh, I guess I can still mess around with uh, my ship. Because, like, it's gonna take a bit for some of these, uh, like, towers to really show up. Because, you know, they're buried under a whole bunch of sand. here, that's the Sun Station Warp. Oh, that's a really cool one. Oh, we've been there. The last Brittle Hollow Black Hole Forge District. Giant Deep Warp. The final... finale of the action. Yeah? District uh, giant, yeah, giant sea warp, yep, 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 yep. Alright, getting distracted. Okay, that's the, the twins. Gravity's do, being weird because I'm in between two celestial bodies. And just to have it recorded, yeah, all that left, all that will be left of exploring the Ash Twin will be going to the Brittle Hollow Warp, going to the the Forge, the Black Hole Forge District, then Giant Steep Warp, and then the final tower of the Ash Twin itself to get into its core. Do -do -do -do. Gosh, I love the force of this, uh, sand. Where's the other... Am I appearing at a tower? No, I, I almost feel like it'd be quicker if I go the other way around. Okay, that's... Which one are you? I think you're Timber Hearth. Ember Twin, Ash Twin. Right. Yeah, okay. This one's the Ember Twin because it's like split in half. That makes sense because the Ember Twin is uh, almost split in half. That's the Sun Warp. There's the Sun Station. It was just on the horizon of the Sun. Um, where are you? Oh, what's that? Oh, that's... You being... Okay. No, wait. You're Timber Hearth. Gosh darn it. Why am I <laughs> getting so lost with these? Oh, I'm confusing the Sun Station with the uh, Brittle Hollow, probably. Then again, in my defense, they are both kind of really angular. Like... Like... Ah, here it is. Okay, it's stuck down there. Probably want to scoot over a bit. <sighs> and I guess we'll... You know what? We gotta be waiting. Well, gotta be able to have some progress. 
and get to watch this. God, I love how that looks. Hmm. Oh, it's a real shame that I, I can't... Like, there's nothing else I could really do. In the meantime, if I wait for that to get, uh... You know, unburied. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait. It's getting unburied pretty quickly. Or at least internally. Okay, I yeah, know. This one was weird. I remember it has... Uh, a whole bunch of jetting... Oh, well, actually, no, that makes sense, because on Riddle Hollow, there's a lot of bits and pieces of it that are jetting out from the core of the planet itself. Yeah, and they're all triangular. Triangular. Just like the uh, actual planet. Do you think the scrolls are sourced from the Brittle Hall? You know what? I wouldn't be surprised, because all the scrolls are also angular like that. And, uh... Yeah, the, all the scrolls in this game tend to have, like, their end bits tend to have this shape. And also... Brittle Hollow seems to be, like, the main, like, hub of, you know, my, uh, habitation in this solar system. Set <laughs> to go drink some water. Um. No, I'm actually not being sucked up towards the uh, top. Here, I'm used to the the force of the sand rising to just lift me up and bonk me against the ceiling. You did find one this game. Yeah, I know one of the escape pods is on Ember Twin, but, like, it seems like the biggest source of habitation was on, uh, Brittle Hollow, because there's another escape pod there, and also, they have, uh, what all do they have there? They have, oh, they can make, uh, black hole and white hole warp cores at, uh, Brittle Hollow. And, you know, they don't have that technology in uh, Ember Twin. The, yeah, the sun of the city is huge. I'm, I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is I think this is the main hub of, like, science. Because there's talks of things that they weren't able to discover yet. In... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to explore there. Yeah, there, you know, there was talks of things that they were working on that get completed here. Like, the quantum moon, like, they make a better, you know, they have a way to get to it, and they've actually been on it from some of the sources on here. And, oh, Brittle Hollow Stone. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's, uh, the, the, the projection stone. It's on the white hole. Yeah, okay, it's on the white hole station. So I guess, be cautious near the boarding area while, okay, while the black hole forge is in operation. Wait. 
Do I have to pull the black hole forge down and then get here? Um, I think I made a mistake. Because I know for a fact because of jumping off uh, from here that there's a control there's some controls to lower I can't point directly up at it let me make sure I won't uh, launch my walk off the edge of this and get launched up right, uh, that right there that's connected by the cables is the black hole forge there's controls to move it downwards uh, but it's up there and a part of this planet uh, got blown up by a comet. Nothing to worry about. That's just how it does. Um, yeah, I think I've messed up. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's no controls down here. But there is a way to... Because, yeah, I bet standing in it won't help. I think I have to lower it. Fuck. Oh. oh. I didn't, uh, die. Oh. Okay, well, no, I... Uh, even though I missed out on what I wanted to do, that's fine, I know how to do it. And also... That's a family. No, that's a few... I mean... Probably still a family, but we're living here. Also, I need to be careful because uh, that comet or lava chunk—I don't know what to call it accurately. Uh, will oh, that's hello. Uh. They do fall randomly. And if you may have noticed, uh, bits of this planet have been uh, knocked into the black hole. So, uh, literally, most everything here can be knocked into it. Which is uh, terrifying. Let's go. Let's do what I also wanted to do, I guess. First I need bonk. Um, well, at least there's some trees. Get out of here, white hole. Um, surface integrity. Zero percent, what a surprise. Also, I need to find the white hole station. But the problem is, most of the time... Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, most of the time, I end up not being able to see it. Because of, uh... You know, it's... Oof. Because, you know, I'm trying to find something on a black background and it's not really well lit. You know, it's not like it has, uh, searchlights. Oh, the moment you were about you looking at- well, then again, I did get bonk in the head. Like... That isn't me being factitious or anything. I did just get, like, uh, annihilated. Not annihilated, but... Ember Twin Projection Stone. Yeah, this would... That just spins it around, right? Okay. Yep, let's check this out then. Where's that rock? You. Let's spin you around. Let's 
make a spooky sound happen. <laughs> Hi, ship. Just uh, spinning around. Now, what what happens when we if we warp? Well, uh, this goes on while I'm looking at the map. Okay. Space time gets uh, weird. Also, <laughs> my um, I guess I named, decided to call my uh, astronaut Ruby. That uh, Ruby's having a bad one. Oh yeah, that would be the exit to the surface. I think. Hanging city below. Uh, Uh, warped here from Whitehall Station. Uh, I'm delighted. Two friends on the other side. Our design worked. Okay, we recently recreated warp travel. There, and yeah, okay. Alright. And now we have some interesting things to poke at. First, let's do some reading. I just want to pause for a second. I just realized something about the youth rejection stones. Yeah, it, it kicks you out of the map. I think, or actually, I think I closed it for a bit, but... No, I think it does kick you out of the map. But I think I know why I tried leaving uh, a projection stone for... Uh, uh, Ember Twin, on Ember Twin, and it didn't work. I think it's because they have to connect like this. It is, yeah, I was trying to call the, my phone with, you know, calling my own cell phone number with my own cell phone. Like, it didn't work because they have to connect like this. And now actually looking at it, it makes sense. Uh, hey, bots. Uh. Oh, wow. Well, just had to uh, block some bots, but anyway, we're back to this. Um, so now let's do some reading. Hi. Rami and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the Whitehall Station. Uh, let's go here. Poke, I understand it's exceptionally odd, but Claire and I have tested the, and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. Rami, the interval is incredibly minuscule. Roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't aggra can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? Hi. As I've already told Rami, these measurements can't can't be accurate. How can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Poke. As Pi is confident, the reading is inaccurate. She can, uh, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate the phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. Oh boy. And, um, <laughs> bye. An update. Poke. The High Energy Lab is in the cannon on H Ember Twins' equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. I don't disagree. I... It would mean I've been inadvertently bro I've would mean I've inadver inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We have to reconsider all our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. And yeah, this is this is weird. Discovering things a bit out of the order of like this is like they got here, are able to travel back and forth, but yeah. Let's let's have a phone call. <gasps> wow. 
wait. Oh, wait. And it's not some weird... Wait, no. And yeah. <laughs> oh, this was worth it. Ah, oh, this is worth it. Is the bitrate going good? It seems like it uh, jumped up and down a few points. But yeah. Every time I've been conducting... This, okay, so I'm literally viewing up to this path in another place. At another physical location. Probably physical location. So that puts in perspective... Where the hell have I been visiting whenever I've gone to the other, uh, projection stones? Where the hell have I been visiting? Is it inside? Yeah, to the mass starfield. Like, where is that? That has to be somewhere, right? Or someplace? How will this work with, uh... Oh? I'm not incinerated yet. Okay, now I am. Now my actual self was incinerated. Is this in a physical location? This mask? Now I'm wondering that. Because the Starfield has those masks all around it. Some of them... Uh, with lit eyes, some would not, uh, some without. So I've, I've been wondering, was I just, like, seeing, like, a, a phone call? Like, a, like something like a very sci-fi phone call? Or was I actually witnessing, like, a location? I had no idea. Ooh... Oh, we have found out some science. It's time to get a... Let me gently give it up. All right. Okay. Wait, is this why it takes a while for- okay, I have an idea as well. Because I should visit the Giant Steep location, but also... Um... White Hole Station. Alright. Uh, to use a tower standing on the... Light mid- yeah. Warped optics arrived at the receiver before the negative time interval one hundred thousandth of a second. All right. All right. Uh, wait. Did I see anything else? Not yet. But yeah, I now cleared the white hole station. And. Yeah, thank you for deleting those messages. I forgot to do that. I blocked them, but yeah. Um... I have... No. Oh, I have... a plan. Uh, shoulder sight. Climb down the cliff. Oh. I still haven't gone there yet. This... I feel like I need to do the Meltwater yeah, district that raises and lowers the forge. I think I had to get there, lower the forge, then head back to the 
uh, the Ash Twin. I think that's why it takes a while for it to uh, do its thing, but I think... <laughs> I think that's what I want to do. Um, shelter site. How did I... I could have sworn I went down the shelter site. Raise the forward to return the towers? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, can I mark that? Okay, I guess it would be here. Or, Rybex Cave Camp. I think that would be the quickest way to get there. Honestly, but, um, let's... Well, let's try to get to the shelter site. Let's get that under our belt. Wearing my astronaut gear. I mean, you have a point. But also, if I can. Ooh, escape Timber Hearth, uh, escape velocity, and then get in here. I mean, you know, it's. If I can get multiple things. Fuck! I'm dead. Absolutely beautiful. You know, at least it wasn't the sun this time. I have that. I, I didn't get flung into the sun. My most fiendish foe. But yeah, uh, as, as I was saying, if I can get, you know, multi you know, reduce the amount of return visits I have to do, then that's not a bad thing, potentially. Oh, the settle itself is huge. Alright, now it... If it's huge... Then... Yeah, I'll just... Let's see here, where's that camp? I mean, that could just fall in. Uh, but let's not... Um, here, I can't read that fast with how far away I am from the screen. Give me a bit. Um, the settlement stuff is huge, hence why I think focusing would be best, though. Oh, though, there is a crack in the surface they scrape hot already, so you could fly in. Um, you know what? I mean... There is that crack surface. If I can actually, uh, ye ha, just had to add a uh, stream marker there because I'm great at flying in this game. I'm actually a pro. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> actually a pro. That's Gold District Meltwater. Okay, so it's the two... I shrine. Black 
Okay, so it's I'm looking for the two hexagons. Uh, what are you? Black hole forge controls. Ah uh ha -huh ha! -huh. Any scrolls? Any text? That will raise it to there. All right, and I'm hoping that there will be uh, something I can do, like some controls in the actual, you know, forge itself, to allow me to uh, do whatever nonsense I need to do with it. All right, now I need to fly out of here. I can't make a marker on Ember Twin, or the Ash Twin, because it sucks. Uh, well, not that it sucks, it's that I can't just log on to any bit of it. I don't think. Um, Alright, let's, let's go. He, uh, let's... Let's escape the gravity well. The Ashwin. Alright. <laughs> Turn off the black hole. Hit the light switch that turns the sun off and on again. Oh, that could have been... Okay, you know, there's been some times where you've said I've gotten really lucky. Uh, that was one of them. The... Another time where I could have... Bonked into the, uh, the, uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, um, <laughs> the, uh, interloper, that would have been incredibly bad, um, I'm at, I'm at the pole, I need to be on the equator. Not all right. That's a pretty good distance on the equator. Where? Come on, where? Ah, there's the towers. That's the sun. Yeah, that's the sun. It doesn't have the uh, the greebles, the greebly bits, the triangular bits. Yeah, sleep. I appreciate you watching, uh, Sun, Sun Dolphin, but sleep is pretty handy. <laughs> while, uh, while, uh, you know, trying to go around a planet in this game, just because, oh boy, it, having to look down, oh my goodness, where is it? Yeah, having to look down at where you're flying, yeah. 
is awkward. We're having to do this maneuver. Come on, where is it? Okay, that spin isn't me, by the way. Oh, no. That one is top of the Timber Geyser. Yep. Okay, I think it's just it takes a while. Probably just so that you have more than enough time to uh, get to it. You know, from having to, you know, not everyone's uh, MLG pro uh, astronaut <laughs> that can fly <laughs> into a cr fr fly into a crack on the surface of a planet to a uh, a walkway um, inside of the planet on the underside of the surface of the planet and then uh, you know get out just as quickly <laughs> Moo lasso her girl. LG. Goodness. Come on. Reveal to me what I want. No, I'm gonna get some more water. Alright. Well, this is what I want. Just kind of wanting to. Have a front row seat. The current goal is to go to the Black Hole Forge on, uh, Brittle. Brittle Hollow. But to do that, we have to go to Brittle Hollow itself uh, to activate the forge controls. Because the forge was in a position we can get to if we had just warped there immediately. Which is interesting because uh, we can't, like, from the planet itself, it's the area, the way to. Uh, our, you know, our main destination was blocked off from, uh, from debris and whatnot, so we had to do this weird, uh, relay to get to where we want to on Brittle Hollow. Nice. Alright, now I need to remember not to jump. And also, the game had to load in. Um, I remember to not jump, or else I will be flung off of here. Which, to be honest, is like, I love just randomly jumping about, so this is incredible. <laughs> it's oddly hard for me to not jump everywhere. Oh, at some point I should bring the projection stone down here. I think. No, that's the brittle hollow. Blech. What would I bring down here? Oh well. <laughs> Having to walk on gravity walls is homophobic. You know what? God. It really is, isn't it? <laughs> Please, thank you. Okay. There might be some in the forge itself. Okay, yeah, true. Ooh, 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 ooh. And it's one of these. Hello. A 
there another scroll here before I start? Uh... Alright. Hello, stone, stone <laughs> face person. Just skip everywhere. Yeah, I mean, you have a jetpack in this game. Why wouldn't you skip everywhere? Anyway. Mm. Clary. Uh, regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which uh, to which it it's tuned? I guess this one first. Look, we don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within five degrees of the astral body center. Of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. Alright, there was something telling me to... I can scroll my tag, so I don't know what that was. Um, as such, any gnome I stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental transportation. Yeah, you do. I enjoy precision as much as the next gnome I, but if, for example, tower's base is were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with the astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, provided the next Nomai is not poke. <laughs> I love these fucking bickering nerds. Is there anything behind here? Hello, black hole. Sorry, I heard some weird noise in game, and I was like, did something happen? Larger than screens. Okay. The format afterwards. No, that makes sense. That it reads the XML and then applies the formatting afterwards. Um, root. Where am I taking this uh, first black hole core, and where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? Poke. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so those deliveries will be a uh, greater pain in your <laughs> cervical spine. Different locations. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yarl. He's familiar. He is familiar with them. Clary, all of the warp, hmm, all of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. Right. My gratitude. In that case, poke. Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send you all your your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin, just to make sure Yarl receives it. Of course you are. Hearing something explode in my right ear is always amazing. Oh, Brittle Hollow. Poke. Of note, Jarl believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower design. Namely, that each one of the warp towers on Ash Twin will never activate, because its warp receiver will never align overhead. That one of the- t oh, one of the warp towers on Ash Twin will never activate. Okay. <laughs> um, Poke, does your romantic in interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, the warp tower is aligned to the center of the astral body. Okay.
Clary, this isn't an unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on or in, or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. No, Yarl understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize the hourglass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. Oh, okay, so that's how that works. Claire, I seem to recall that was your understanding of warp technology at first. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, and this shows when the... It shows something. I'm not sure what, but it shows it. Um, the I think the alignment of the... Okay, I think I know what this is showing. I think it might be Ember Twin. Maybe. The uh, Ember and Ash Twin alignment. Maybe. But also... Da -da -da -da. Clary, I have good news. I have good news, Jarl. The advanced warp core is, are, is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. And the Jarl seems to always be in yellow. I'm intrigued. Ah, I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here is working on the Ash Twin project and is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. Poke. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Jarl. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. <laughs> Claire, don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. Oh. Like, oh yeah, no, this thing is more durable than it needs to be. Yeah, it flashes show the warp window. Let's... Uh, I hate this. I... That uh, game lagged a bit. That one's yellow. And this is somewhere else. Okay, I don't remember these... The ones that aren't on being yellow like this. The Ash Twin Projection Stone. Brittle Hollow. <gasps> That's the center of the ash twin, isn't it? That's it. that's why it looks so weird. All the unlit ones are yellow, or as I assume, the same copper you're covered in. Yeah, true. Let's... Alright. Where's my ship? Okay, yeah, my ship's still on ash twin. Giant Deep now? Uh, yeah. Part of me wants to continue the... Ooh. That was close. Game's lagging a bit. Um. Alright. Where are you, ship? Alright, your ship is on the other side. Now let's take some shelter in here. I guess I can drop this because I can't... I can't, you know, call the... can't make a uh, call to the place I'm already on. We, I think every other project, uh, projection stone that has shown that weird room area has been the it connects to the ash twin oh no oh no my poor ship are you alright it looks to be fine it looks to be fine okay my poor ship can take a lot. Uh, that's Timber Hearth, uh, Geyser, I think. The 
Nash Twins. There. Ah, there's. That's the one. And again, I park in the best ways. I know how to park my ship. Don't say otherwise. I don't know how much time I have in this loop. Park everything's temporary, parking included. I mean, you're right. I well, I I'd like to believe I'm better at parking that I don't leave my uh, vehicle off a a weird ledge. I'd like to believe as much. The qu quadruple park IRL. Oh. Well, no. No. God. Yeah. God damn it. God. I was. Conf I thought I was going to get launched up somewhere, so I, like, I instinctively used my jetpack to launch myself downwards and got sucked back into the return warp. Pin drop in Wait, what? That was you warping to a shard planet that was about to get fucking pin drop into the world? You would have been crushed? Wait, what? Goodbye, ship. Wait, I- wait, what? I, I've never been to Giant Steep. I have no idea what you're talking about. Did that save me? What? <laughs> You'll see more when you visit Giant Steep. You know what? I mean... My ship. I mean... Warp saved you from broken legs. <sighs> Your ship, yeah, my ship did want to park somewhere better. Also, let's just look at the sun. Let's not look at the sun. Um, where is Giant's? Let's not get burned to death by the sun. Let's try to. Timber Hearth is having a bad one. And it's Dark Bramble. You know, I've never talked to the other uh, Hearthians. I realized as the world was ending, or as the solar system was ending. <sighs> I wonder if I can get there in time. To... I don't think I'll be able to get there in time. I absolutely won't be able to get there in time. I don't think I can get anywhere in time. <laughs> There, there's, I mean, the sun is changing a lot. You think everyone would be like, oh, hey, the sun's not supposed to do that. But really? I'm sure it's the only one who reacts to the sun changing? No, let's, uh... No, I could have had time to try to land there, but, uh... No, I guess I can... Try talking to them, uh, later.
because I was too far away from Timber Hearth. <laughs> ah, <laughs> if game design tells me anything, it's hard to get people to look up. Thank you, Muse. <laughs> oh yeah, kept me in the solar system. And, I mean, land on the supernova. <laughs> I mean, potentially. No, oh, not potentially. I mean, I mean, I don't think that's called the landing. I think that's uh, called annihilation via supernova. We've we've did some science. We deserve a marginal level. All right. Let's not jump off the platform. Quite a few things updated. Oh. Alignment angle diagram. Yeah. A di yeah, a diagram depicting the alignment angle between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. Warp tower alignment angles are not exact. Within five degrees. The result is worth yep. During that will be immediately warped, yep. Find wherever the area has the warp. <laughs> Supernova. Sounds delicious. I mean, if there was a dessert or something, or maybe like a something spicy named Supernova, or like a, a cinnamon dessert named Supernova, I think I'd, I'd definitely try that. I would definitely think that'd be tasty. And the Black Hole Forge. A warp tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver, rather, Warp tower always aligns at the center, corresponding astral body must be located. A uh, warp receiver must be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. So close, they function as a single astral body with a, sh a shared alignment point in between them. All warp towers are constructed on Ash uh, on Ashwin. Yep. Count the bees. Count the bees. Um, one. Oh, super supernova. Oh, supernova. Okay, I can imagine a restaurant called that. Alright, Ashwin Project. The central was sealed off, immensely thick, protective shell. And in suppers, apparently too. Oh, I didn't notice the, the, the extra peas. And on the supernova. <laughs> supernova. Gosh. Um, oh yeah. anyway, let's, this, um, Ember, oh yeah, I was thinking of landing on Giant Steep, though I think landing on there sounds, uh, like a nightmare, but, oh yeah, houses get, 
Gabbro went back to Giant's Deep to try to learn about the Nomai uh, statue in the observ observatory. Yep. Not like the super salad. <laughs> you know, the super salad, uh, you have a suit on. I guess let's land for real on Giant Steve, just because it takes so long for the, the tower to be revealed. And I wish I can point to where I want to go. Well, um, Okay, where am I? Okay, I'm headed the exact wrong direction. Hell yeah, giant steep. Getting real deep in that giant. Waka waka waka. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's... that's real big. That's real big. That's real big. That's... uh, did that get bigger? As I was... That... that's real big. I wasn't expecting it to get that big. That was, um, what happened? It, it, what? It just got, hmm? What happened? Uh, I know it's like Jupiter, but, like, as high, oh, okay, as high gravity and slings on, okay, that makes sense. Actually, it slingshotted me past it. Oh boy, I hate this. I hate this. Yeah, it is like, yeah, it would be like Jupiter. God damn it. Yeah, I need to use the autopilot. It's just, it, it's gravity is too powerful. I can't land on it normally. As much as I'd want to. Let's try landing on this and not dying. God, this is terrifying. And also, I'd love to be in orbit around, uh... God, I don't know. This is terrifying and I hate this. Uh, this is a whole different kind of scary. And there's a storm. Oh, God. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Welcome to hell. Ah. What the hell? What the hell? What? Welcome to hell. Uh, you may want to check your landing indicator on the right. It shows me being launched. You remember how the warp had you launch into space? That cyclone. Oh god. Welcome to hell. My poor little scout. Welcome to hell. <laughs> <sighs> and the landing is why you would have broken your legs. Okay. So, okay. That's what you meant. That the 
the the warp point was actively in a, a cyclone. And yeah, that's why they have this gravity thing here, so that you can actually uh, land. Oh boy. being in an elevator that can fall any time. Yeah, no, it really is like being on an elevator that can fall any time, apparently. Oh. Hello, that's what broke earlier. Also, sorry for stepping on all these bones, but, uh... That's nuts. Kasava, this is it. We've finished building the final Orbital Pro Cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. Orbital Pro Cannon. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for all your tire tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Daz, I... Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. <laughs> if I ever, if I'm ever half as gooey as uh, Mallow and Avins have uh, behaved together, as how you may launch me from the orbital program, Kasava. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital program to install the pro tracking system. Oh, this. As, if I know my brother, Avins, and his spouse, uh, will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, a more the cannon could, would break under the strain. I suppose we give Avins and Malo a, a uh, slightly lower maximum power setting for the absolute maximum possible to a great room for the enthusiasm. Huh. So, probe cannon. Someone was supposed to install a uh, tracking. Install the probe tracking system. Alright, yeah. No, I just have to. Okay, I didn't die. I was wondering if that would just launch me. I was expecting. Okay, I wasn't expecting the range on that, to be honest. Deep gratitude, heavy gratitude. It's just deep. <sighs> yep. No, I don't want to be on this one, because uh, it's not complete. So that's what that is. It's a probe launcher. Alright then, let's go. Ah, oh, this is so tight. This is so tight. Okay, this is Hell Planet, but it's a beautiful Hell Planet. Because this is... this looks amazing. Can I go under the water? Love their copper holograms. Yeah, I love their copper... Uh, I kind of want to see if I can go underwater. But at the same time, I'm deeply afraid of going underwater in this game. Because what if there's fish? But if fish are a thing, and they annihilate me. Um. Alright, not dead. Oh, okay, these are the probes, uh, the districts. I think the school district, Maltwater district, uh, Eye of uh, I, the Eye of the Heavens, or Eye of the Universe district. The only fish you've met hasn't been in water. They were in fog. Or a fish. Oh yeah, no, that would make sense of them just labeling things A, B, and C. Yeah. Hello. Giant's Deep. Hello. Control module projected stone. First. 
8 minutes 49 seconds ago, long-range probe successfully launched. Oh, successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. Oh, they did it. Alright, Sava, I have bad news, Evans. Earl says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. Evans, I hope you're pulling my, loco my locomotive limb here, Kasava. Kasava, I wish I were, my friend, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is an indefinite hiatus. Kasava, <sighs> tell Privet and Marl uh, Amalo. Uh, they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Malo and I will join you and Daz. Rivet left to visit her brother. She fears um, Idela may feel responsible. So... If they did an automated system launch the... Uh, Launches in. What? Hello. It's pooping. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! It's a thing! Oh, I don't like them. happened. Giant steep. One thousand. Well. What? Uh, my legs are alright because I'm using my thrusters to keep me uh, on the ground as I can. And this was doing something. Is that a warning or is that like a safety mechanism? Welcome to hell, welcome to hell. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, that was terrifying. No, stop that. Is there anything there I want to check out? I'm not sure, but also I think I can get there. If I'm quick and brave. Let's go. Uh, thank you, dear, for the uh, help. And also help that I had a roof over my head. Brittle hollow projection stone. Oh. oh, that's dropping it. I need to get over there. I think. Do I have enough time? I, I don't know. Uh, look. Sometimes just gotta be reckless-ish. What? Alright. <sighs> God, I love this location when you figure out what it is. What? Oh boy. <sighs> I wonder this is the construction yard. It was meant to be built in space. But it gets tucked away onto the planet. And then launch back out again. Huh. 
Huh. It's a very wet, dry dock. <laughs> I I wish I had a. Uh, uh, yeah, it uses the fact that the cyclones launch islands. Huh. That's bonkers. That's great. I love this. I love this so much. <sighs> um, Kasaba. Con uh Conoy. Oh, Conoy, Daz, and I were lifting uh were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Um Kasava con convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other Ken arts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? Uh, Kanoi. Oh, Kanoi is another yellow name. Her copper name. Are, are the people with the copper names the one with the, the copper kind of dull light? in the... when I'm guessing the, the projection room or whatever. My gratitude for your interesting question. Ah, uh, this is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Oh, I need to go to the Southern Observatory. I mean, that's later, but, uh, interesting. Sava. Kanoi. I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? Conoy, if you don't mind the, uh, the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. Okay. Cool. Uh, Conoy, you- uh, Conoy, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon component to sink even partially below the current, but our sink straight to the core. Okay, so I read that bit out of order. What? Hello. Well, tight. Ooh, that's always... Okay, the world also had to load in a bit. Oh, there's a projected stone, probably to here. And a reconstruction of the. Hmm. I hate those explosions. A. That's. I need to get here, but I. Surface. A vision of the Southern Observatory, which is great. But at the same time, I don't know how to. I wonder if, if watching that long enough would help, but either way, I should probably... Okay. Legitimately, I was worried about being, uh, having my legs broken. <laughs> so it's like, oh, I'd love to keep watching, but at the same time, um, my legs being broken are a very real concern in this, uh, place. I think I should go back to my ship, though, because I need, uh, oxygen. And also, I guess I no, it wouldn't hurt to make sure uh, my legs aren't broken too much or something. I mean, my health looks good, but like, like. <laughs> Come on, drop that. Alright, that's just, uh, options and all that. Um, this feels weird. Recently I've been in places where every time I've, uh, unlocked new information, I haven't been able to just get back to the ship. Kind of recently. Or I've been launched somewhere. Well, I mean, there's a possibility I'll be launched now. But. Uh, the Nomai finished building the final module for the orbital probe can and send it to the into orbit around Giant's Deep. I used the Nomai projection pool and saw the interior of space station in orbit around Giant's Deep. Yep. The 
Oh, see, this island is where the Nomai built the Orbital Probe Cannon. For some reason, the Nomai put the Orbital Probe Cannon on indefinite hiatus. The cannon was not asked to fire. According to the Nomai computer, a long-range probe was recently launched from the Orbital Probe Cannon. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, trees always refill oxygen, but... Yeah. God, this whole thing gets launched into space. How the hell do I get out of here? Well, I mean, I can wait for it to be launched into space. And gravity is uh, 2.6 Gs. Oh boy. Okay, I can just take off. Alright. Um, I mean, I'm kind of afraid to take off because... Okay, there's no... Her directly and also me <laughs> it's tree real estate uh, not. I mean what's the worst that can happen I mean it can launch me into space At the same time is that really the worst oh this is sick and this is how you get a very, a very wet dry dock, having to remember what buttons I have to press. Uh, how do I? Come on, come on! I wish I can. Hey, Quantum Moon. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> okay. Okay, there's... Okay. Got it. Gotta get away. Uh. What? All right then. <sighs> I was afraid I was gonna beef it. But, yeah, no. Ooh. Come on. Sorry about that. Let's see here. Um. Hmm. There's A, B, and C. Okay. Control module. Oh, there was a control module. I took the wrong thing with me. Uh, pro tracking module. That one didn't hurt to look at. Launch module. Um. Got a launch module, I think. Hello. Hmm. Yeah, I love the umbilical 
uh, airlock. Oh, uh, what's this one here? Got it. Probe tracking module. Okay, I think it lost its uh, tracking module. Definitely. Control module, I should have brought... Oh, I know what to do now. I think that means something. Even if I don't have the uh, right thing, I know how to get back here. Uh, the music got real intense. <laughs> Launch module projection stone. Giant's deep projection stone. I have bad news, even. I have bad news, Evans. Jarl says there is a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here. Wait, did I read this one before? I wish I were my friend, but no. My spouse and I will remain constructing hard for now. Okay, so I've read that. And that would take me to, uh... Ooh, there's some... Oh, the... it's so pretty. <sighs> Gorgeous. Control module, giant deep. Oh, okay, construction area. That would make sense. <sighs> Malo. My be Mal Malo, my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. Oh. Heavens. Cassava tells me, uh, tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. Malo, I see. And I'm right to think that cons uh, consequently we'll be ignoring that setting. Giving the orbital pro canning all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, and the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can, and I'll make some adjustments. I can posit we're nearly 100% certainly our friends have accounted for our nature, so I suggest we do. Uh, the thought of concluding our elder's curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why is there three? Launch map. And this is the launch launch. Okay. I think some yeah. Well. And, yeah, it is really fun that the first thing that the game points you to that Rosetta Stone leads you to the eye hunt. And, ah, uh, gosh. You know what? I think this is an excellent place to stop for tonight. It's like 10 here. We've, we've discovered a whole lot.
still don't know where the warp location for Giant Steep actually leads to, but yeah, we've done a lot. And thank you, no, thank you for watching. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's been a blast. But yeah, uh, I guess again, thanks for watching, and yeah, I... Ooh, we have so much more to explore in Giant Steep, and, on, and actually get to the, uh, the warp station, but yeah, we, we have a plan. I can try to remember it for next time. But yeah, this is mysteries, mysteries within mysteries. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and yeah, I guess see y'all next time. Ciao. Um.